Okay, better? Yes, awesome. I'm gonna set this up here because it has to, has to reach the antenna and if it's in my pocket, it doesn't reach the antenna very well. Okay, I'm gonna tell something to the grown-ups here real quick and then, and then we'll start the story, okay? Um, this is a liturgical story which explains um, a part of our service. You'll figure that out as we go along, I hope. Um, but one of the, the parts of this story involves silence. And sometimes silence can be uncomfortable, but it's okay. <laughs> so I just want you to be comfortable in the silence. Watch what's happening on the screen, because there will be movement during the silence. And, um, oh, we need you guys to scooch a little bit further back, because they can't see everything on the circles here. There we go. Can you scooch maybe a little bit? There we go. There we go. Now you guys can see everything's on the circles and then you'll be comfortable with silence, right? <laughs> Everybody loves silence. All right, are we, are we ready? Okay. I'm gonna set up um, the pieces of this story. You might recognize those of you guys in our Godly Play class. Yes, the shepherd. Here's the, the good shepherd. Here are the sheep. Yes, this is a story that's always, and when we're in our godly playroom, the, the story is like right on the shelf, right behind me, right? Because it's such an important story. Yes? Do you get to see yourself on the screens? Should we all, let's just get this all out of our system. Let's make, let's make funny faces at the camera. Okay, okay, are we, are we good now? Okay, so now let's, now can we be ready and focus on the story? Yeah. Great, great. If, you, if the grown-ups, if you guys all want to make funny faces real quick, you can feel free to do so as well. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> let's begin. There was once someone who did such amazing things and said such wonderful things that people followed him. And as they followed him, they wondered who he was. One time when they asked him who he was, he said, I am the good shepherd. I know each of my sheep by name and they know the sound of my voice. When I lead them from the sheepfold, they follow me. I go in front of them to show them the way. Sheep are, sheep are 
clumsy today. I show them the way to the good green grass. This is the table of the Good Shepherd. <coughs> Here is the bread and the wine. Sometimes people think that we need more things on the table, but the Good Shepherd is in the bread and the wine. So that's all we need to remind us. Sometimes someone comes and says the words of the Good Shepherd and shares the bread and the wine. Sometimes the people of the world come. And even the children come. Now, I wonder what this table could really be. Does anybody have a... Should we ask the grown-ups if they, they know what the table could really be? Any of the grown-ups, what do you think the table could really be? Altar. The altar? It could be the altar, yes. Does it look kind of like that table, guys? Yeah. It does? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yes. It could be like a dining room table. We gather around a dining room table to share meals, important meals. Yeah. This could be a circle of love. Yes. <coughs> yes. A balcony table, yes, it could be a balcony table. It could be the church. I wonder if these people are happy to be around this table. Yes, you think so? Yeah. What about the grown-ups? Raise your hand if you think the people are, are happy to be around the table. People, people over here are happier. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I wonder, I wonder what this whole place could be. Yes. A place to share good, a place to share good memories. A place to share good memories, that's very good, yeah. 
Oh, sorry. Yes. What do you think this whole place could really be? Circle. Wondering's hard sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. If you, if you think of the rest of it, raise your hand again, okay? All right. Are there any grown ups that, that want to say what they think what this whole thing could really be? Not just the table, but the whole thing. All of God's creation, it could be that. <laughs> The church. I heard somebody over here say the church. God's kingdom. God's kingdom. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. The last, the last meal, the last supper. Yes. Could be all of those things and more, huh? Okay. I wonder where you are in this story. Or what part of the story is about you? Yes. You're one of the people over here? Or the sheep? Or the bread? The people? The people over here? But not the people over here? <laughs> yes. You think you're that little girl? Yes. Um, when the sheep followed the shepherd. You're when the sheep follow the shepherd. You like to follow the sh good shepherd and listen to his voice. Good. good. Any? <laughs> oh yes. Oh, you you figured out which one you are. This one with the pretty dress. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and she's dressing up for the um, aloha thing. Yes, she's she. Followed Father Tim's instructions. She is dressed in, in Hawaiian apparel. <laughs> yes. Yes, you are, you are dressed up too. Yeah. Um, is there any of the grown ups that want to um, share where they see themselves in the story? The evangelists? Yes. Oh, oh, you were just dancing. Oh, because we can see ourselves. Yes, it is fun to see ourselves dance on the screen, isn't it? All right. Well, I am going to put the story away, and um, and we will go on. Oops, this this lady wanted to take a nap. I feel you, lady. All right, and then maybe, maybe. Some people will come up and say the words of the Good Shepherd up here and, um, and share the bread and the wine. Do you, think, do you think some people will do that today? Yeah. You, you're not going to? Well, because, because where these people live, it's cold. And, and, so where, and where these people live, it's, it's hot. Because you know what? Even though we're only at one place, there's people from all around the world gathering around the table. Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think we have a question over here. Oh, Jennifer. yes. You had a question? I don't know. That's what I wonder. What do you wonder? Do you think they're happy? You do? They're happy because they all have smiles. Oh, they all have smiles, so they're happy. Yes. Oh, that is so neat. Her beautiful dress actually came from Hawaii. And it was a gift from her grandma. And they're wearing the same thing. <laughs> wow. You are lucky to have such a great, wonderful grandma to give you wonderful things. All right. Shall we, shall we go back and, and sit with our families now? All right. I am going to silence myself. I was told I shouldn't give commentary throughout the service. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much. And before we continue, I just want to have a, a few words about today. Good, Good Shepherd Sunday is uh, 
it's the colloquial name for what we call the fourth Sunday of Easter because we hear this reading that, that uh, Miss Jennifer and our children just uh, discussed with the Good Shepherd. And uh, I just thought I'd like to share a little bit. When I think of Good Shepherd, I think of, I think of my dog. Okay, because my dog is a shepherd. She is a, uh, 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 probably a German shepherd, Aussie shepherd mix. And some of you have met my dog and you may disagree that she is a good shepherd. <laughs> because, if you, because if you interact with my dog, she might try to take your hand off. Uh, but, uh, but she is a good shepherd. She's loyal. She's loyal and that's, that's why she's a little aggressive. I think she's pr protecting me. But there's a, there's a two-way relationship going with, with my dog and with me. Yeah, she is a shepherd, but she's also, uh, she's also my pet, right? So, uh, so she hears my voice and she knows when I call her. She, uh, sometimes, probably 60% of the time, she comes, com comes running when I call her name, about 60% of the time. Not all the time, but she, she knows my voice. Right? And she knows when I say dinner. Or, or if I say if I say treat, right? She knows. She knows, and and that's what I, I think uh, Jesus is trying to tell us in this example of the good shepherd, is that uh, is that the sheep know the shepherd's voice, and we hear and we know Jesus's voice, and uh, it's up to us to discern. Whether the, noise, whether the voice that we're hearing is the voice of Jesus or just some noise. Right? And it, it can be challenging because there's a lot of noise these days, isn't there? There's a whole lot of noise. So we have discerning hearts and we have to listen for that voice of Jesus. And our role as Christians is to use those discerning hearts and uh, to evaluate wh where is this voice coming from. And if we remember the two commandments... The two great commandments. Who, who can tell me the two great commandments? Can some young liturgical leaders in the back? Can, can, you, can you tell us the two commandments? Do you know the two great commandments? They don't, they, they don't know. Do we have, we have a hand here. Love God, love your neighbor. Thank you very much. Absolutely. And so we, we can know that if that voice is telling us something with those two commandments in mind, love God, love your neighbor. And if the voice is telling us something with those two commandments in mind, then we, we can be pretty, pretty certain that that's the voice of Jesus calling us. So uh, let's, let's be mindful of that and, and discerning with our, uh, with our listening abilities. And, and we listen to the Good Shepherd. If those voices tell us to, to love God, love our neighbors, then I think we're, we're up. Start. Amen.